Hi everyone, I am coming at you from Houston, Texas, and today we are going to be talking about the water oak, also known as Quercus nigra. Water oak are a member of the Fagaceae family, the beech family. They can grow to be 60 to 100 feet tall and they grow pretty quickly between 6 to 12 inches of diameter within 10 years and they're relatively short-lived about 30 to 50 years. They have a nice rounded crown with slender branches as well as shallow spreading roots. They grow best in well-drained soils and full sun. They're common throughout the southeast and can be found in a variety of habitats, including floodplains, mixed hardwood forests, and uplands. All right, so now getting into leaves, water oak are unique due to the fact that they have polymorphic leaves, which means that they vary in shape and size. So they, the shapes are spatulate, linear, or obovit. Um, so I have an example of each laying here. So spatulate is this one here on the left, and it means kind of what it sounds like. Um, looks like the spatula in your kitchen kind of thin at the bottom and then more broad up at the top. And then the next one here is the one on the right, which is linear. Um, also kind of what it sounds like a line, thin at the bottom, thin at the top, generally. Last, we have obovit, which just kind of means that it is an ovular shape all the way around. And the, like I said, they can range in size. So the three examples that I have here, as you can see, are different sizes and they range between two and four inches. Um, and in general, all the leaves have a thick and leathery touch and they also are an alternate arrangement. So now for leaf margins, they can be entire, so smooth around all of the edges, like this young leaf I have here, or they can be lobed, like this one here, where it has distinct gaps. Um, again, it's part of that polymorphic trait that these trees have. And then for venation, they can either be brachiodome or bl black brachiodrome, I apologize, meaning that they have arches, which this tree didn't really have. This one's pinnate, so meaning that it looks like a feather. Um, so we have this main vein in the center and then the smaller veins coming off of it. So like most other oaks, water oak will flower in the spring, but it is currently August, almost September, so there aren't any flowers on here yet. Um, but even when there are, the flowers are not showy. They're yellow-brown color, and the male and female flower exist on the same tree. The male are catkin, which are tiny flowers called florets bundled together, and they contain the pollen. And the females are a small spike that emerges from the leaf with flowers on it. Um, and of course, being an oak tree, the fruit is this acorn. So water oak produced an acorn that's about half an inch long and they range in color from brown to nearly black. But this tree or these acorns are young, so they're still green and they will fruit in the fall. If the tree is young, the bark will be brown and smooth, but if the tree is older, it will become more of a grayish black and rough with age.